Hello everybody for one, the next one and I thought it's time that I show you a short of my home country. I actually have a total of five Austria jerseys. The one I'm wearing here, this is actually my favorite of these, but I want to go to another one. Um, and I have to say I had up until 2004 Austria wore white at home and red as an away kit and then our, yeah. He was the hero in 78. He is a legend in Austria. Unfortunately, as a coach, he is not very uh, well, highly regarded. Hans Krankel, of course. Um, and he became, the, for some reason, the national team coach. Uh, still very foggy decision how the heck they got to him. And since he made his fame in wearing a red jersey by scoring two goals against Germany in 78 at the World Cup, he of course said, yeah, the Austrian colors are red, white, red. One of the oldest flags in the world, by the way. Uh, still in use. Um, we need to wear red at home. And we've been wearing red at home ever since. I understand it from one part. I don't like it. I still go back to the white and black. Which is also weird because it's the same as Germany uh, and actually it was not intended to be white and black, it was to be yellow and black because when the first Austrian national team played it was still the Austro-Hungarian Empire and the color of the Habsburgs was yellow and black. It just washed out or uh, that's the one uh, legend. The other one is that on the black and white photographs of the time it didn't really show as yellow and then sooner or later, I think after World War I, they just kept the uniform but kept it in white or something to that effect. And yeah, I could I show you a black jersey which is completely out of character, although I really love this one. This is a great jersey, but um, I could show you a red one, but I want to go with a black one. I actually want to go with my re most recent one, although it is there is one thing that I don't like about it, but it's of course the one wearing at Euro 2016 and the only jersey where they actually did something when they pulled out a draw against Portugal with some luck they could have gotten an undeserved win. They had some chances but then Ronaldo's penalty was saved so yeah. Euro 2016 still hurts because that Austrian team was a great one. Um, in World Cup qualifying they were kind of a little bit this but they were unlucky I have to say. Maybe they're showing now more, um, but that 2016 team, if this, if Euro was played a year earlier, they really could have gone far. Yeah, just every time we qualify for something, it just doesn't go right. And we were, I would even say, the biggest disappointment. Yes, England, you made it to the second round. Yes, you were beaten by Iceland, but no. Austria was poised to much greater than ending fourth in the group. And yeah, hello England, we share the same fate. We were both beaten by Iceland. <laughs> but yeah, the Icelandic commentator became famous when Iceland scored the winning goal against Austria. Here it is, a uh, very plain shirt. And uh, it, it had the nice Puma leather lettering, which was unfortunately here, which I don't like. It should have been centered here. Okay, was well, a short interruption. My girls needed me, now they are here and I hope they are quiet. What do I like about this shirt? It's a very classic Austria look. Very plain, white. We have the eagle, just the eagle from the cold coat of, coat of arms. Doesn't have the Austrian flag around. This I prefer better. I like the Puma kit here. Um, it doesn't, as I said before, I wish the number was here and not here. I don't have a number here, it's actually quite plain here on the back. I really love the form straps here. It looks really like late 70s, early 80s. That's the part I like about this most. Other than that, very, very, very simple. Um, I like this Immer wieder Österreich here with the little ball from the Soccer Federation. That's a nice touch on the inside. I just wish there was a little bit more red, white and red here. Other than that, I think this was a really nice jersey. I needed to get that one, unfortunately. Yeah. They didn't play too well in it. I like this one much better than the home jersey we had back in 2016. Well, let me know what you think about this shirt. Not sure if you have any memories with that unless you're from Austria, but let me know. 
if they are. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I'm now going to take my girls down and talk to them that they were quiet because they're already interrupting here as well. <laughs> Bye. Talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.